All right, let's hop right in. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to unlock the season five reloaded ether portal. And here's a few things that you need before unlocking it. First, you're gonna to need to do the new mission. All right, to unlock the first piece of the puzzle is going to be the giraffe. The giraffe is gonna be a little bit, the giraffe is gonna be probably the easiest one to do because you have to disguise yourself as a mercenary. As you can see, I am putting on the sergeant's beret and I'm going to be disguising myself as a mercenary and the key thing here is to I wouldn't say sneak up behind the mercenary and assassinate him but pretty much get behind the mercenary and assassinate him however you guys want to do it it's entirely up to you as long as you get an assassination as a mercenary Once you get the assassination, you're going to get a rift portal and the rift portal is going to gift you a purple giraffe, a purple giraffe toy. Now for the second one, you're going to need the bike, the ether bike. Now you want to make your way to the location where I'm currently at right now. You're going to see a blue bunny. You're going to ride over it. And it's going to prompt you with a, a little, you know, giggly, a little laugh noise. Letting you know that you started the mission already. You started the, um, the Easter egg. So you're going to go and follow the white arrows. So once you get to the finish line, it's going to prompt you with another reward rift. Now, you want to make sure you clear out all the zombies before you actually get the reward rift in this. This reward rift is going to give you the drum that you need. Well, now the third piece. Now, if you make your way down to the location where I'm currently at right now. Again, this is one of the things that I don't like about this game. And I wish Call of Duty would fix this is if you spawn in and somebody else beats you to this location and does the rift and does this, you're going to have to wait until next round. So let's say you came in, you already equipped everything that you needed to do, your ether blade, and you're not the first one here. It's going to be a waste. So make sure that you're the first one here. I mean, getting a lucky spawn is definitely, definitely needed. And if you have a scorcher. Definitely pack a punch set to level three to get here as quickly as possible. That's all a matter of lining the triangle. If you hit it, if you hit the, if you hit this little sweet spot, it, it should be a couple feet in front of the dock. A couple feet in front of the dock, and you should be fine. And then you're gonna see this blue sphere. Don't worry about collecting any of the souls in there. That's a separate piece. And it won't if you let's say, let's say you kill all the zombies and everything in there. It'll spawn you with the reward rift. But it's not gonna give you the. It's not gonna give you the diary, if that makes sense. Like it, it won't give you the diary. It'll give you a reward rift with maybe a flawless crystal and a legendary tool. But you still have to kill five mimics. It doesn't necessarily have to be in this spot. You just have to kill five mimics. Now this is a good spot to get mimics, yes. But it doesn't necessarily mean you have to kill them here. You can kill five mimics anywhere. So if you want to do bounties, go ahead and do bounties. This is just a good spot because there's a lot of, you know, mimics that spawn. But as you can see, this is one of the methods that I'm going to be using to kill all the mimics that I need. Now this will take some time if you're doing it the way I'm doing it. You can either pop some shots if you have a level, you know, pack a punch two or pack a punch one crystal, you know, definitely, definitely pop some shots. Uh, to lower the health down and then use your use your ether blade but again probably one of the easiest methods to do um if let's say if let's say somebody else comes in and starts killing zombies around where you where you need to kill them uh someone interrupts your your little session that mimics will stop spawning and there's going to be a different reward rift that you get. Like what I mentioned earlier. This is a good spot for mimic spawns. Alright. Now it doesn't really matter. How you get the mimic kills. You need five mimic kills. It could be either be bounties. You can either get them in uh, 
infested strongholds if they're in there. But you just have to kill them. There you go. That's one of the diaries. Now for our first location to upgrade one of our pieces is going to be here. Uh, where I'm currently at right now. You can mantle on top and, and do what you need to do. But there are going to be a few zombies that are going to be spawning. Uh, some of them are going to have fire on them. Some of them are going to have brain rot. Uh, like this aura around them. And depending on what kind of aura they have around them is what you want to equip for an ammo mod. So here I'm going to try to equip the brain rot. And kill that green zombie right there. There's another one that I just killed. Now in order for me to kill that zombie, I need to have a dead wire on it. And then we get a reward rift. We get our golden drum. Once we get our golden drum, we're going to make our way down to the second location. And this is going to be um, in the top left-hand corner. Almost outside of tier 2, but not outside of tier 2. And this one's going to be... This is going to be the diary here. And you need PhD flopper. And then there's going to be a rift that opens up that takes you to the location where you need to go. Now I will say this took me a couple tries to do, but I was able to get it. Um, the best indication for me is this, this triangle here, this caution sign. One of the key things to do here is uh, dolphin dive off of this platform onto the onto the blue crate so if you can do that if you can dolphin dive yourself off into that blue crate man you're set you're good to go but i will say it took me a couple tries to get this done just because i wanted just because i had the angles wrong I might have hit the top of the crate and then slid off of it, and that's why it gave me the reward worth. But there we go, we got the golden diary. Uh, now this last piece is going to be in tier 3, and this element 115 rock is going to be in this van. So you want to interact with the van, and it's going to be, I would say, I would consider this maybe like three waves, right? Now the first wave is going to be a mega abomination. That's going to be the very first thing that's going to pop up. Now I got fortunate, and I got the dog with me. And that, that helped a lot as a decoy because if you go down once, this has to be pretty much a perfect run here for all three rounds, all three. Uh, if you go down, you're going to lose your purple toy giraffe if you go down once. So here's the first wave. First wave's done. Second wave, there is an EMP mimic. So if you get too close to it, it's going to be an EMP. This one's going to be a little easier to take down, but at the same time, it can be a little hectic. Now here, you know, there's a couple people that came in and, and assisted with it, but you don't really, you know, you don't need the assistance. I mean, I had two charts down. It really did help out. Now here, this is going to be the last wave, the third wave, and this one's going to be uh, at least two to three dogs, one mega abomination. And then before you can actually attack... The disciple you have to kill the mega abomination once you kill the mega abomination it's free game if you take a little longer than expected to kill the disciple it will spawn the mega abomination again and it's gonna it's gonna make everything a lot harder so here just lay around as much as you can to the disciple once it's uh it's vulnerable once it's vulnerable just lay it down once you get the final disciple, the final boss is going to give you that golden giraffe toy. Now we're going to make our way down to the Oval Palace. When we do that, we're going to see this little fountain in the middle. And obviously you're going to put the items in the respective spots. So first... I'm going to be putting the diary in the first one. Second one, I want to be putting the drum, the golden drum. And then the bunny. 
And then for the last one is going to be the Toy Giraffe. It's going to give you a little animation, kind of like every other portal, every other rift. And it's going to start forming. Once it forms, then there's going to be a Mega Abomination that's going to spawn. Now this kind of reminds you of the very first mission, the very first Aether Portal that we unlocked because the Mega Abomination was the was the main boss in that one. And that was pretty easy to take down. I will say that. Once you take down the Mega Abominations, it's gonna give you a Sigil. You don't really need the Sigil anymore because in Season 6, all Tier 4, anything that requires a Sigil, will be free. So you no longer need a Sigil. But there you go, guys. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys need any help with this. I can definitely help you guys out. But if you guys liked the video, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you guys want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time.